got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool, while other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in. Today on Dino Squad, Buzz attempts a complete etiquette makeover to help him win an important scholarship. But it's going to take more than good manners for Buzz to survive dinner with Victor Velocity. I so cannot do this. I know I promised Grandpa I'd get that mural painted at the Mrs. retirement Victoria home. Vandersham, I know, but it's just so hard Vandersham to get everybody Fortune organized. Announced the three finalists for the prestigious oh, wait, Dad, I have to call you back. Scholarship. The three finalists are a young lady named Rebecca Flatterly for her painting of a horse. A young man named Jacob Seats for his painting of a sunset. And finally... A young man by the name of Neil Basmati for his painting of a praying mantis. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Buzz. You did well. Ooh, the competition was so intense. A lot of people with a lot of talent. But this scholarship, it could mean going to the university of my dreams. It's possible. I could win. The three finalists must now attend a banquet where <gasps> they will be judged by their behavior. The finalists must display all the merits of good etiquette, including how to dine, how to dance, how to converse politely, and how to behave in high society at a black tie function. I firmly believe that an artist should be a well-rounded individual. Being an artist does not preclude one from having to be polite or civil. I may be old-fashioned in my thinking, but it is my money and my scholarship, and I think I should do what I hope is best for young people. Have a nice day. Black tie function? There's no way I can win. No way whatsoever. I'm sunk. Finish. I'm through. All that stuff's totally easy. All it takes is a little practice. Oh, really, Caruso? What do you know about Hope Dining? I'll have you know that I am well-versed in proper etiquette because when you look this good, you have to be ready for anything. If you're so prepared, why don't you help Buzz? Teach him. I don't know. It was hard work for me, and I'm me, and Buzz is, well, he's Buzz. Enough said. Can't be done. Maybe a little incentive would work. Say, how about we won't show anyone these photos from your recent bad hair day in return for your teaching Buzz proper etiquette? You wouldn't. You can do it, Caruso. You can remake Buzz into a suave social butterfly like yourself. Or the world sees these pictures. You drive a hard bargain, but I'll do it. <laughs> Buzz, there are certain rules you're going to have to learn if you're going to mingle in polite company. But I'm eating. Yes, I can see that. In fact, the whole world can see that, and it's very scary. General rule, fingers do not belong in ears or noses. Forks or utensils should never pause mid-air or be used as pointers. And never chew with your mouth open. Never talk on the cell phone at the table or blow your nose. In fact, if you have to do anything other than eat and be polite and converse, excuse yourself from the table and go elsewhere. Which brings us to poise and grace. Walk with back straight, chin up slightly, confident without being arrogant. Smile. That's it, smile. Let's try that one again. Let's not. I'm not cut out for any of this. It'll never work. But we've just started. You can't give up. You have to persevere in this if you want to be successful. Keep trying. You'll get it, Buzz. Experiment 
in an attempt to further develop a viable primordial ooze, have grown a substance that should maintain its own unique DNA signature. All that remains is a field test. Hello, Earth to Buzz. You cannot sit at the table in dinosaur form. Why not? At least as a dinosaur, it'd be obvious why I'm always knocking over the water glass or breaking the plate. I'd have an excuse. Well, I think it's pretty obvious you can't go to the big scholarship dinner as a dinosaur. I think it's pretty obvious. I can't go at all. <laughs> We gotta save those deer! Let's get prehistoric! Go Dino! have ruined another promising experiment. Spread out! Find them! We'll never outrun them! Lucky I cooked up a few surprises over the weekend. Take a kettle of biodegradable vegetable oil, add a dollop of dry ice for steam, and voila! A perfect recipe for defeat. Or in this case, the tire. and pick us up! No! I've asked you all to take part in a mock dinner party as a way to maybe help Buzz see etiquette in action. So, please, all of you be on your best behavior. Ms. M, you'll be playing the role of Mrs. Vandersham? Of course. Shall we begin? Soup spoon, salad fork, elbows off the table, polite conversation, smile, back straight, Napkin neatly on lap. Okay, Bismati, you can do this. You can take a sip of water. Oops. Huh? What? Please excuse me. Ah! That could have been worse. Yeah, at least the table didn't catch on fire. That's it! I quit! I'm not doing this anymore! I won't do it. I can't do it. But you can't give up. If you just persevere, you'll get the hang of it. Let me ask you, how important is this art scholarship? Huge. It could mean the difference between going to the school of my dreams or not going at all. Then you need to stick to it. Never give up, never give in. That's true perseverance. You have such a great start if you just keep practicing, keep working at it. Hmm. Perseverance, resolve, and determination. I can do this. 
Sure, look at Caruso. Please do. Everyone else does. Caruso's perseverance is really admirable. Even if it's dedicated to the whole looks department. Yeah, if only he applied that much work to his studies. He'd get straight A's. You ought to try it, Caruso. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just show you guys that I can do anything I set my mind to. Well, if you're going to go that far, I'm not going to let you be the only one getting it done around here. I'm going to organize painting that mural at my grandpa's retirement center. <laughs> Yes! Hey, Mr. Stinky the Stinkbug. I'm glad you're going with me. That way, I won't be going in alone. Of course you're not going in alone. We'll be right there with you. Roger and Caruso will be monitoring you from here, while Max and I will be part of the wait staff. Good luck, Buzz. You can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Ah, Mr. Buzmati. Welcome. I am so very pleased to meet you. Very nice bow, young man. Very nice handshake. I can do this. I really can. Allow me to introduce one of the judges for the finalist competition. A great humanitarian and benefactor to so many good causes, Dr. Victor Velossi. I so cannot do this. Very nice to meet you, sir. Well, if you'll excuse me, I probably should find my table. Oh, I believe you're sitting with me. Great! I mean, that's great. I'm looking forward to a wonderful evening. Fee, Max, you seeing this? Victor Velasi is one of the judges, and Buzz has to sit at the same table with them. We see him. Be ready for anything. I hope Buzz can hang in there. So, I hear you have an interest in insects. Yes, sir. I'm a scientist. Do you see yourself as a possible entomologist someday? Actually, sir, I do. Maybe even set up an insect appreciation program to teach everyone about bugs. I really feel people don't appreciate insects as much as they should. Buzz is doing great. I'm giving him high marks for etiquette. He's got grace, he's got poise. Diversity in nature is so important. Every species is vital. Hmm, well, yes, but some species are more vital than others. Unfortunately, random acts of nature can sometimes elevate a lesser species above a greater one. They want us to clean this? Tonight? Let's do this room later after we finish up with that artsy thing. Look at those moves! He's got it! Buzz is tearing up the place! He's doing perfectly! Wait a minute! I'm picking up a mutant's whore inside the hotel! Could it be the scans are registering Velocity? No, he's still in human mode. It's something else, something big, in the large reception room a few doors over. Perhaps I'll call it an evening. Telephone call for you, sir. What? Telephone call? Oh, telephone call, yes. If you'll excuse me, thank you, sir, for the wonderful dinner conversation. Well, I guess it's pretty easy to see the mutant sore in the room. I've 
been slimed. All right, I've been oozed. Is that better? More original, at least. Come on, guys. Let's herd this thing into the corner and deuse it. Nice work, guys. What is all that noise coming from next door? It's really quite disconcerting. I believe, ma'am, there was a wedding reception. But it should be all quiet now. Where are they? Why, Dr. Velocity, I thought you'd left after you entered your judgment. Did you still want dessert? Dessert? No, I don't want any dessert. <gasps> what is that awful smell? I... it's... <laughs> Good evening. Again, I wanted to thank you for the wonderful conversation. Perhaps I shouldn't say this, but that man, well, I know he's very generous when it comes to charities, but there is something about him I don't like. Mrs. Vandersham, in all honesty, I couldn't agree more. Sadly, there's a lot I don't like about him. But you were so polite to him. Well, it felt wrong to be rude to him at the table, because that would only make the other people sitting there feel bad or uncomfortable. You have very good instincts, young man. What is that you have there? Um, nothing. Mr. Basmati, I demand that you show me what is in your hand. It's a stink bug. His name is Mr. Stinky. That's... that's... You know, young man, you were the favorite of all the judges, and I thought pretty highly of you myself until this moment. <sighs> but now, you are definitely my favorite as well. That is a beautiful little bug. I brought a little friend as well. Her name is Winifred. I have a pet boa constrictor named Winifred. Oh, really? My pet boa constrictor is named Stanley. Wicked sweet. I mean, <clears throat> that is very interesting, Mrs. Vandersham. Oh, please, call me Victoria. You're very genuine, Mr. Basmati. Please, ma'am. My friends call me Buzz. Yes, Buzz. Very genuine. You have wonderful instincts. That's what I look for in the winner of my art scholarship. Etiquette is something that can be memorized. With a lot of work. Yes, that's true. But good manners come from the heart. This whole dinner is designed to see how genuine someone can be in these circumstances. And you were wonderful across the board. I am very pleased to announce that the winner of this year's art scholarship is Mr. Neil Buzz Basmati. Isn't it beautiful? Once I got everyone organized, and kept them organized, it really came together. And I painted those bugs, which is great, seeing as it was bugs that got me that art scholarship along with the help of my friends. No, Buzz, you did it. It was all your hard work, practice, and perseverance that got you that scholarship. 
And I want you all to know that with the studying I did, I got straight A's on my midterms. So you see, perseverance does pay off. Just look at me, beautiful, talented, and smart. <laughs> <laughs> Those dinosaurs disappeared so quickly, they had to have had help from their human accomplices, who must have been at that dinner. And perhaps those humans are on this list. If they are, then I will find them. I will persevere, and I will find them. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. Don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA.